Today, we are solving one of the biggest reliability problems in AI agents, building deterministic, verifiable tools without writing code. We are going to generate logic, test it visually, and export it directly into agent orchestration platforms like NAN. If you've ever spent hours coding custom tools for your AI agents, debugging edge cases, or worrying whether your agent will make the right decision when it counts, you know how big of an issue it is. In this video, I show you how to go from high-level idea to a production-ready tool in minutes. We will build a height and weight to t-shirt size converter, test it with real data, see the logic flow step by step, and plug it straight into N8N, where our agents already live. This applies to medical decision trees, pricing calculators, compliance checks, risk scoring, inventory, routing, and any domain where you need reliable, explainable logic that a non-technical expert can validate. If you're building AI systems, leading engineering or product teams, or working in a regulated industry where you need verifiable behavior, this pattern gives you speed, transparency, and domain expert validation without a programmer in the loop. Thanks to Leapter for supporting this video and creating the tool that can separate planning from execution, make logic visible and testable, let domain experts own the rules, and expert deterministic tools that plug directly into your agent stack. Watch till the end to see the exact flow I used, how the visual logic view works, and how to connect it to N8N or expert as an MCP without custom code. We're diving into a practical pattern for building reliable tools that AI agents can use. The core problem is this. Agents are great at reasoning, but terrible at consistency. You need deterministic behavior, like calculating drug dosages, evaluating loan applications, or routing support tickets. You can't rely on an LLM to apply the same logic every time. The traditional solution is to code these tools manually, write the function, handle edge cases, test it, deploy it, maintain it. This takes time, requires developers, and creates a bottleneck between domain knowledge and execution. Leapter changes that you start with a high-level description of what you want the tool to do. Leapter transforms that into a detailed specification with logic, decision trees, loops, inputs, and outputs. You see it both as a text and as an interactive visual flow. You can test it with different data and watch the execution step by step. When it's right, you export it with one click to N8N, MCP, or wherever your agents run. This is huge for three reasons. One, it gives you a low effort way to build verifiable deterministic tools. No ambiguity, just verifiable logic. Two, it separates planning from execution. A medical expert can validate the tool logic without knowing Python. A finance person can own the pricing rules without touching the code. This unlocks domain expertise that has been locked out of AI systems. Three, the logic layer can be used with any agent platform. Let me show you how it works. For this demo, we will build a simple but practical tool, converting height and weight into US t-shirt sizes for men and women. This is the kind of logic that shows up everywhere, in e-commerce, inventory systems, customer service agents, and sizing recommendations. We're going to create a tool in Leapter test it with real data, and export it to N8N where it can be used by any agent or workflow. First, we describe what we want at a high level. Create a tool that takes height in inches, weight in pounds, and gender, and returns the appropriate US t-shirt size for men and women. Use standard sizing charts. Handle edge cases where measurements fall outside typical ranges. Leapter takes this description and generates a detailed specification. Here is what we see. The full logic written out in clear text. It breaks down the decision tree. If here is the height we've entered, here is the weight we've entered, then we see the size. It handles men and women's sizing separately. It defines the input parameters, height, weight, gender. It shows the output, a t-shirt size string. Now, here is where it gets interesting. 
we can view the same logic as an interactive visual flow. The flow shows inputs coming in, decision branches based on the gender, the nested conditions for height and weight, and the output at each path. This is not a diagram that someone drew after the fact, it's an actual specification rendered visually. We can click through the flow, we can see what happens at each decision point and understand the logic without reading the code. Now, let's test it. We run a test with a specific height in inches, specific weight in pounds, choosing our gender. The tool executes and shows us the path it took through the logic, step by step. Input received, gender check, height evaluation, weight evaluation, and the output, the specific size. Now let's try another one. Let's enter a different height in inches, different weight in pounds, and a different gender. We see the execution flow again, and this time we have a different sizing. Let's test an edge case. We're going to enter a new height, weight, and gender. The tool handles it and suggests this specific size or notes that it's outside of the standard range. This is the validation step. Before we deploy this tool to production, we can run dozens of test cases. We see exactly how the logic behaves and catch any gaps or mistakes. A domain expert, someone who knows sizing, not code, can look at this and say, yeah, that's right, or no, we need to adjust the height or the weight threshold for large. Once we're confident, we export. One click, Leapter generates the tool in a format that's ready for N8N. We choose N8N from the export options and it packages everything, the logic, the inputs, the outputs, into a node we can drop into our workflow. There is also an option to export as an MCP tool. Now we're in N8N. Here is a simple workflow where an agent receives a customer inquiry about closing size, the agent takes input data, height, weight, gender, and needs to recommend a t-shirt size. We drop the Leapter tool into the workflow as a node. We connect it to customer data source and to the agent's response logic. The tool is now live. When the agent needs to determine a size, it calls this deterministic function. No LLM guessing, no hallucination, just reliable logic. Let's trigger the workflow. The agent receives a request, pulls customer data, calls the Leapter tool with height and weight and gender, and gets back a specific size. The agent responds to the customer with their recommendation. It's clean, fast, and deterministic. The same pattern works for any logic you need to encode. Medical triage, credit scoring, compliance checks, routing decisions, pricing calculations, Anywhere you need consistent, explainable behavior. Now, let's talk about why this matters beyond convenience. First, deterministic tools are the foundation of reliable AI. LLMs are probabilistic. They're amazing at reasoning, but not so good at consistency. When you need the same input to produce the same output every time, you need deterministic logic. And Leapter makes that easy to build and verify. Second, this separates planning from execution. The person who knows the domain, the medical professional, the pricing analyst, the compliance officer, can now own the tool logic. They don't need to explain it to a developer who then translates it into code. They validate it directly, and that eliminates the translation layer where things get lost or misunderstood. Third, this unlocks non-technical experts. Your medical team can create diagnostic tools, your finance team can create pricing models, your operations team can create routing logic. They don't need to wait for engineering capacity, they build, test, and deploy. Fourth, we're heading toward a future where agents create their own tools. Right now, when an agent encounters a task it can handle, it either fails or asks a human. In the future, it will describe a tool it needs, Use something like Leapter to generate the logic, validate it, and add it to its toolkit. That's true agentic autonomy. And fifth, if Leapter adds integration with semantic data layers, where you can give it knowledge of your domain entities, relationships, and constraints, this becomes the ultimate tool for reliable AI. The logic wouldn't just follow rules you write, it would understand your business model. Let me share some recommendations from using this pattern. Start with one high-value use case. 
pick a decision or calculation that's critical, happens frequently, and currently requires manual work or custom code. Build the tool in Leaper, test it thoroughly, and deploy it into one workflow. Measure the impact, track error reduction, time saved, and adoption. Make the logic visible. One of the biggest wins here is transparency. The visual flow and step-by-step -step execution mean anyone can audit the tool. That's critical in regulated industries, high-stakes decisions, and anywhere you need to explain why the system did what it did. Involve domain experts early. The whole point is to let people who know the logic own the tool. Bring them in during specification and testing. If they can validate it without a developer translating, you're eliminating a huge bottleneck and source of error. Test edge cases aggressively. The visual test runner makes this easy. Run every boundary condition, every unusual input, every scenario that might break. The cost of finding a bug here is near zero. The cost of finding it in production is high. Version your tools. As business rules change, you'll need to update logic. Treat those tools like code. Version them, document changes, and keep a history of what logic was live when. Start simple. Don't try to encode your entire business logic from day one. Build one tool, learn the workflow, see how it integrates, and then expand. The expert flexibility matters. Right now, we're using N8N, but the ability to export to MCP or other formats means this isn't locked into one platform. As your stack evolves, the tools move with you. This pattern scales beyond single tools. You can build libraries of deterministic functions, pricing, scoring, routing, validation, and compose them into more complex workflows. Each piece is testable, verifiable, and maintainable. The separation of concerns is architecturally sound. The agent handles reasoning and orchestration. The deterministic tools handle calculation and decision logic. You get the best of both. Flexibility from the LLM and reliability from verified logic. In the long term, this is infrastructure for agentic autonomy with detailed context from your semantic data layer. When agents know your business, can create test and deploy their own tools, the constraints shift from what can we build to what should we build. That's a different problem, and it's a much more interesting one. Leaptor is currently available in open beta, and we're the first channel on YouTube to get early access to this exciting new product. If you're experimenting with agentic automation with N8N, Langflow, Make, Crew AI, or any other agent platform, you can use Leaptor to define and integrate your business logic quickly and easily. What tools do your agents need? Try Leaptor for yourself and build a deterministic tool for your agent in just minutes. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next video.